knowledge that you gain. gain. It's gon' hurt my nigga. My nigga. R.I.P. Dr. Say, say. I think they murk my nigga. My nigga. I be with stars like astrologers. Yeah. We hit the club and demolish it. Yeah. That jury shine like Apollo. Okay. We plugged in like a fire stick. Bro. We screaming R.I.P. Malcolm. Malcolm. Peace, peace, family. This video right here is about the internal, external science of inspiration. And we gonna jump straight into this. Um, inspire. Okay. In. In words. Spire. Go look up the etymological roots of the word spire. It means spiral. So to be inspired, okay, means to have your inner spiral activated. That's your soul. That's your mind. So what inspires you, okay, sends the direction of your mind, your soul, your consciousness. Conscious just means to be aware, okay. What inspires you sends this internal energy in a Direction of the polarities, either northern or southern, a.k.a. up or down, heaven or hell, ascend or descend, period. It's only one or two ways you're going to go. And so with that being said, why is this important? We automatically have, and I'm going to do a totally separate video on this, but we have a, a, a misconception due to colonial entities, okay, that Good and bad is parallel with right or wrong. And we don't realize that we've been taught to do bad things because we've been shown bad things in a form or image of a good person. And we've been showing, shown good people in the image that we associate with bad behavior. So nobody really wants to be a good person because they see bad stigma attached to that. And everybody wants to be a bad person because they see good stigma attached to that. So now why is this important? Look at what inspires you. Right now, pause. Just hit pause on your life. Pause. Forget history. Forget anything you've ever thought you knew. Just pause it for one second. And just ask yourself, what is inspiring me right now? What? And you might say, Phil, why is that important? Because you're, you're inspired by what you're attracted to. Attract means to what? It means to exert force towards another object or source that has greater mass than you. Or, 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 or that you believe in your mind has a big enough mass to interest you. Interest. So, what do we know about science? What do we know about the universe? Just basic science. A bigger object has greater mass than a smaller object. So, that bigger object is attracting that smaller object to itself through what we call gravity, okay? Pulling, attracting, same difference. So you might say, Pharaoh, why is this important? The smaller object in certain circumstances may not be aware that it's being attracted to its own demise. Just like in nature, animals are, are preyed upon, not viciously uh, in, in a manner that we think of when we think of a leper hunting his prey, some animals are attracted to their own demise. Huh? So you have to ask yourself, what is attracting you and is it potentially a mental, physical, or spiritual predator? Huh? Because everything that makes you feel good ain't good. And everything that makes you feel bad ain't bad. Just like everything that tastes good ain't good and everything that tastes bad ain't bad. So you have to be able to use discernment. You have to be able to use wisdom. So let's go back to the moment in which we pause. If you are watching somebody on TV twerk, and that's inspiring you, somewhere in your mind, I don't really care what type of person you are. I'm not judging nobody. Let's just deal with a blank slate. Somewhere in your mind, that is a greater force in your mind. And it's a force that's so great, a part of you considers becoming a part of that force. And it's inspiring you. And you feel like it's making you go up in life. Really, it's making you go down in your consciousness. Because it's making you become aware of a negative habit that you're getting ready to display. And if you display this habit long enough, guess what you're going to build? A habitat for this habit. And then you're going to descend in your life. And you're going to live in this hellish place. 
And you're going to wonder why your life just got a tad bit harder. You're going to wonder why all areas of your life just got a tad bit toxic. Because the things that inspire you are sending you straight to hell. And I don't mean hell in the conceptual place that white people made up. I'm talking about the real hell. The state of ignorance, psychologically and spiritually. The state of darkness. The state of foolishness. The state of uh, serving yourself that which no longer serves you and wishing to be served. That state of hell. Huh? Killing your own, your own light. Putting out your own light in your mind. That's where you're going to send yourself. So you got to ask yourself, look at your friends right now. What are they inspiring you to do? A motherfucking crime? To go to jail? To shake your ass? To get on the internet and act like you don't got no sense? To walk out your house and act like you don't got no sense? If those are the people that are inspiring you, that are inner spiraling you, I'm going to tell you right now what you're around. You are around a bunch of people that are falling inside of their own sunken place. And you saying, damn, I like the way this person is falling. Let me jump too. You being inspired to jump off a cliff in your own mind. And you don't even realize it because you like the flip that the person did. They didn't just fall and, 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 and scream. They did, they, did a, they did a tuck and roll down into an abyss. And here you come. Oh, that looks like some, 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 some popping behavior. Let me jump off the cliff too and fall, to, fall into darkness. So, that is one aspect of, of being inspired. Now, let's deal with a greater positive force. Huh? Something that's greater than you. What's greater than you? If, if, if everything is all interconnected, then technically nothing's greater than you but you. And that's what you should be inspired by, yourself. You should be able to look at your old self, the person you was, however many years, I don't know you, the person you was before you became the person you are today. And you should be able to say, how did I become the person that I am today? What bad habits did I kick? Huh? Because if you can identify what bad habits you kicked, you can identify what bad habitats you kicked. And by identifying that, now you can identify which bad habits may be a little stronger and may, have, may be a little harder for you to kick. And those are the ones you know you need to kick in order to become that good person, that better person you want to be. That, that exudes those good habits and creates that even greater habitat to become that greater self. So you shouldn't be inspired by anything negative. And the first person you should be inspired by is yourself. Period. And then you take that concept of self, that higher self, your higher self. And then you allow things that are in synchronicity with that concept to inspire you. If you want to become a mathematician, and that's how you see yourself, allow other mathematicians to inspire you who are virtuous, who are moral, who are intelligent. Don't, don't, don't be talking about you want to become a mathematician and you hanging around silly people all day. That's not how life works. It's not how life works. So what you have to realize is you either ascend or you either descend, period. And you are choosing the direction of your own life, even when you think you're not. You may not be able to control every circumstance, but there's always one circumstance you will be able to control, and that's you. Not only your flesh, but what's within the flesh, the way you feel. How, and, 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 and that's important. That's important. It's probably the most important lesson you ever learn in life. To control yourself. Because if you can't control yourself, you can't observe yourself. And if you can't observe yourself, you can't see what's inspiring you. And if you can't see what's, in, what's inspiring you, you can't look deep into it and, 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 and study it to make sure that what's inspiring you already exists inside of you. And is already positive for you. And it's being reflected on the outside of you to confirm to you that that's the step you need to be taking uh, in regards to the direction you want to go in life. And if you can't do that, you're going to continue to be inspired by people who are making it look cool to ruin their own life. That's pretty much what it all boils down to. You're being inspired by people who's making it look cool to be self-sabotaging, to destroy their own public image. You don't got to be a public figure to, 
protect your public image? What you talking about? I need my respect regardless. <laughs> what are you talking about? You being inspired by people who making it look cool to be pedophiles. Making it look cool to not have no discipline. Making it look cool to, like I said, be self-sabotaging. Making it look cool to be uh, evil towards family constructs. Making it look cool to not ever have any responsibilities in life. You just playing your, and partying your whole damn life away. Making it look cool to never become somebody. Making it look cool to never teach nobody nothing. Making it look cool to never teach your damn self nothing. You just becoming inspired by people that is make that are, that are making foolishness and deviancy popular. That's pretty much what it all comes down to. And then you take this inspiration and you attack others or you become toxic to the community who doesn't see life the way you see it because you're so ignorant you don't realize that you can't see. And it's not even a case of the blind leading the blind. It's a case of the blind attacking those who are not blind for not allowing them to lead. And that's even worse than the blind leading the blind. Because now you don't want to be in a place where you fit in. You want to go somewhere where you don't fit in and then attack those who are telling you you don't fit. For reasons that you either choose not to see or you so far down you cannot see. And I'm going to end this right here. Okay? Life is about perspective. When I'm standing on top of the mountain and looking down, I see different things as opposed to when I'm at the bottom of the mountain looking at the top. So why is this important? Whenever you want to see something, you have to ask yourself what's blocking your view. Why can't you see what you're looking for? Huh? And sometimes, or most times, the answer to that question is you. You in your own way. You blocking your own view. The person that you are right now is blocking you from seeing the person that you could be tomorrow. And the person that you could be tomorrow can't be seen by the person you are now because the person you was yesterday is still in the way. So that's how confused you are in your own timeline. Your, your, your past ain't even behind you. Your past is in front of you getting in the way of your future. That's how, that's how scrambled y'all are. And, and, and you trying to Run into the future by running into your past and you don't realize by putting the cart before the horse, a.k.a. putting your past before your future, you're never going to get to the future. And you can't go back to the past because that already happened. And you keep bringing it up, making the past the, the, the current, and now you're in a time loop for all of eternity within your own ignorance. So, let us understand what we should be inspired by. I'm, 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 I'm being universal here because I'm mature enough. And I'm spiritually healthy enough to know not only black people watch my content. So I make my content in this day and time as universal as possible. But I will say this. For black people, only thing that need to be inspiring us is our ancestors. Not religion. Not monotheism. Not no Europeans. Uh, as far as cultural, culture or anything like that. If, you, if we see some Europeans doing something today that's admirable yes you should be inspired by that because admiration should exist within you but as far as all of this bull crap about what the greeks never did and they never and all not nah, we should be dealing directly with our ancestors period because if we were you would realize we inspired them how you gonna be inspired by somebody that you inspire you inspiring to be somebody that's inspiring to be you how that work but i'm gonna end right here and say this I appreciate everybody, and I hope that this video did not offend you. I hope that this video does not um, inspire your soul to do something that I didn't intend for you to do. I want people to take out of this video this, um, and I can't remember the gentleman's name who said this quote, but I'll say the quote and you can find the gentleman yourself. A society that is not built upon truth is built upon tyranny. And we have a tyrannical colonial group of people who don't want black men such as myself to tell our righteous truth and tell our spiritual truth because they're trying to uh, gaslight us and say we're trying to bring about tyranny. But tyranny has already been brought about since the truth has been expelled from society. And so I'm inspired by the truth. And that's what forces my ascension. I don't know what inspires you, but that's what inspires me. And with that being said, I hope that truth 
can become a part of the energy tornado that you caught up in and that you can start to be inspired to go in the direction that truth is telling you to go. And with that being said, I love y'all. Peace. Nothing but pressure for these niggas. You feel me? Frows. Heard you out here trying to make America great again. Well, how about we make the streets militant again? Fall in line, nigga. And follow orders. family welcome to youngfrail.net subscribe now for all of my latest lectures interviews as well as my entire body of work because in the words of general setting i'm just too raw for youtube speaking of youtube enter the promo code youtube yp for five dollars off your first subscription also for products and brand promotion contact me on instagram or youtube or any of my other social media platforms speaking of platforms my music is available on all platforms now and so with that being said family as i grow I want y'all to continue to grow with me, and I look forward to hearing from each and every one of y'all as y'all continue to follow me on Instagram, at Ferro underscore Otten, Twitter, at Ferro underscore Otten underscore, Facebook, at Young Ferro, as well as all of my YouTube channels, my main one being Young Ferro. And also, family, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, at Ferro underscore Otten. And with that being said, I love y'all. Peace.